Timothy Chalamet has really impressed me on a talent level. The guy certainly has it in regards to a new and upcoming actor who's getting a lot of attention, especially among, uh, uh, where's this coming out of? I think it's MGM, but among the Warner Brothers line. Last year, saw Dune. He did an excellent job leading that movie. And with this one, you know, there's some familiarity to his presence in regard to this being a uh, film being pr uh, directed, I believe... Yes, by Luca Guadagnino, who has previous work experience of him through Call Me By Your Name, though I don't necessarily want to give praise to that movie. It's not a film I would personally watch, and there were certainly complaints to be had with that picture. But, if you are familiar with it, but Timothy Chalamet, I remember even with that movie, getting a lot of acclaim. And maybe this film is a bit more approachable. I, For me, again, in comparison to that original work, even though Luca Guadagnino, I heard he got a lot of regard for how... It, well, that film had a lot of awards attention as well. I think in its nominations, I don't remember. If it, I don't think it won it. Maybe it won something, but eh, again, I don't think it's the best movie by any means, morally speaking. But he got a lot of credit. I remember for his talents, and perhaps this is a more approachable picture. He's done other work as well that I'm familiar with, at least by name. I've not seen a picture from him, but this is a drama horror romance, as IMDb brands it, that is present in the pitch of the story, and it sounds very endearing as well. For, again, that, that romance background might be very engaging. With Timothy Chalamet, it's going to be a highly competent picture, I can already tell. And I believe a cast alongside him is the character of Marin, uh, played by Taylor Russell. Her name, and I haven't looked into her filmography, uh, oh, she, yeah, I, I have seen her. I was curious. I, I could kind of tell by the performance. She's in the Escape Room movies. Maybe less to regard to pictures than perhaps a film done by Luca Guadagnino, but I liked those movies, both of them, and she plays the pinnacle character. So I, I have seen her before. I'm familiar with her talents, and I think she's you know pretty gifted as an actress. If you're not familiar with Bones and All, this is the original pitch according to IMDb. A story of first love between Marin, a young woman learning how to survive on the margins of society, and Lee, an intense and disenfranchised drifter, as they meet and join together for a thousand-mile odyssey, which takes them through the back roads, hidden passage, and trap doors of Ronald Reagan's America. But despite their best efforts, all roads lead back to the terrifying present or Dervine pasts into a final stand that will determine whether their love can survive the, their otherness. I find that to be a very interesting compilation of ideas. And again, the branding of this being a drama horror romance, I think is such a very interesting idea. We'll see how palatable, palatable it is. It is rated R for some potential content concerns, some of which I'm like, well, you know, maybe I'll gauge the content review to understand maybe what I'm going in for. But I'm going to give it a fair look based on the trailers. And I don't remember what the release date is for this movie. It might even be out at this point. Uh, no, it's, well, it's in the next couple days. Tomorrow. <laughs> That's close enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bones and all. So I'm technically still kind of early. Very late, though, at least according to when these trailers came out. I'm going to start with the first trailer. I got two pulled up. We'll give us a fair eye. If you're not familiar with Bones and all, this will be a good first impression for you, I'm sure. This is more like a teaser length. Okay, already the award attribution. Not a surprise. There's a lover in the story, but the story's still the same. There's a lullaby for suffering and a paradox to blame. I didn't know I had permission to murder. Certainly has both the aesthetic and the music choice of it, a film along the awards line. We kill the flame. You don't think I'm a bad person. He may be, he may be. All I think is that I love you. You look like the kind that's convinced himself he's got this under his thumb. He may be. But you pull on one little thread. I'm ready. My lord. Magnified, sanctified. Be Competent performances and presentation as well. Crucified, crucified in the human frame. You want it darker. We kill the flame. Free. It's enticing on a craft perspective. And it is, I wondered if it's based on a novel. It just had that, I had that feeling going in. I, I didn't look too deeply on it, but if you're familiar with the book, I'd be very curious to hear down below if that is a fair 
approximation. You know, translations aren't always perfect, especially when you're considering book to movie adaptations. They can differ quite a bit change things around again there's understandable reasons for that with movies it's a very different form of storytelling so i'd be curious again to see what the synergy is between mediums of the story but based on a picture it this certainly is an awards movie it's going to be gunning for that i am absolutely sure from a presentation level it just has that feeling none of the close-up shots for me worked like these characters are kind of running at the camera i don't know i, I kind of would prefer more of a distant shot and there's plenty of other ones like this maybe it's a seldom you know, done performance on part of uh, the filmmaker. But it's an engaging piece. Uh, very good teaser. Good marketing, too. A, a very interesting music choice to blend with that. So that's the first trailer. That's more of a teaser in life. This is the longer of the two. Maybe this will go more into the story for those of us who perhaps are not as familiar with the background of the book. I'd be open to it. Not all night. So where'd you move here from anyway? Eastern Shore. Try that. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well. Dad. Hey, I keep an open mind until I'm proven wrong. <laughs> I'm more a thriller guy. I have my convictions when it comes to horror. You were born this way. Obviously. I got my threshold. I believe you had to. I don't know why. Although I still think blending that with romance is a very interesting blend. I smelt you. I didn't know I could do that. I thought I was the only one. I don't want to hurt anybody. Famous last words. Are there lots of us? I don't actually meet many others. So it's sort of that troublesome characteristic that unites these two characters because they're of the same nice. walk of life. Okay, I'm looking for you. And I buy them a level of chemistry between these Can two. You smell me half a mile away. Can you do that? Not that far. I got rules. Never, never, ever ate an eater. I thought you might be hungry. For hens? No. <laughs> Who lives here? Is there someone dead up there? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna be like that. We don't have many options. Either you eat, you off yourself, or you lock yourself up in there. We're dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Teach me how to smell other eaters. <laughs> but we can hurt one another. I mean, this is a horrific stance. Go, 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 go. It's shot really well. Um, it's too much. We gotta do this. We have to do it. She's speaking for me in that case. Can you me? Because I mean, again, I, I can speak to the film's credits at many points, but never places. I'm like, eh, it's gonna, you know, it's stepping over my limits quite a bit. Oh, I think is that I love you. It's an interesting blend. Again, the horror to unite horror and romance, I find to be a very exceptional idea, and to see how that's played out in the story is. A captivating thing just on the content I'm kind of like well <laughs> you know I mean it's a very well presented movie I will give Luca Guadagnino credit on that um, and Timothy Chalamet and uh, Taylor sorry I already forgot the last name and I know I like I've seen her before I should do better at this uh, Taylor Russell Again, I've seen her in the Escape Room movies, and she did a great job there. Even though, again, those are not going for awards movies. Those are just entertaining for all rides. I mean, I like both of them, even though I think the second one wasn't as perfect. I mean, the second one's still... The, if you've never seen Escape Room movies, they're excellent traps. The the idea for those films... I'm not trying to go on a tangent here, but they're very well-done thrillers, at least in my opinion, on the thriller direction. It's just kind of a storyline. There was some, like, well, nah, you know, it's PG-13 horror thriller so you know what it you know what you're getting in some measures but this is really well done uh from a craft perspective if you're into more um severe watches and you don't have the threshold that i do perhaps it's a little more approachable again i try to keep an open mind unless i'm proven wrong and in this case you know as i watch it i can speak to its quality i'm just like hey eh, you know i'm not necessarily sure i'm into films that are you know about hunting people as delicacies. <laughs> it's a bit gruesome for me. Um, not really in my tastes, but 
I can say that the film has some merit to it in its presentation and in performances. And I will say for Taylor Russell, I'm sure she's delighted to have this chance to prove her talents in well-regarded fare. She was also in uh, Waves, and she was in the Lost in Space show as well from Netflix, as I understand. Waves is from A24, and they tend to get a lot of awards recognition, so she's been in this space to other extents. Um, but I'm sure with the credit of Luca Guadagnino and Timothy Chalamet, maybe she sees this as a bit of a career opportunity for her, and I would say, based on her performance, she fits that role quite well. What are your guys' thoughts of Bones and all? Maybe you're like, yeah, I don't have the threshold that you do. So maybe I'm like, yeah, again. Everybody has their limits. But I try to give praise to what, you know, I find is worthy of that. And, you know, I try to voice my concerns where I see perhaps it's a uh, disadvantageous watch for me. And I've tried to give you both fairly. Let me know your thoughts though, down below what you think about Bones and all. And have you read the book? How best is this married to the original... Um, uh, intent of the story, right? How well did they preserve the authenticity of the work? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well as somebody who, again, is unfamiliar with that context. Performance-wise, it's very interesting. Again, Timothy Chalamet has a, more than enough credit to his name to, I'm sure, draw eyes, and the film seems pretty confident in, in its performance and portrayal. If you are, you know, not of the threshold of what is my limit, maybe this is a bit more of an approachable release for you into, you know, more gruesome horror romance blends. I'd love to see more down with that pairing. Just maybe not this one personally. But, you know, I'll be fair that perhaps I don't have the same taste as everybody. Fair. Fair point. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.